celebrity looking hair. Might not be what we were given, but it's ultimately what we go for. Something like this. I'm going to show you how to get it. I think I'm ready for my close up. You'll need a blow dryer, a hair clip, heat protectant or smoothing spray, a ceramic flat iron, and a one and a half inch barreled curling iron with adjustable heat. Start with hair that is naturally air dried for a while and mist your heat protectant or Biolage's smoothing shine milk on and then brush through. Begin blow drying at the roots using your fingers to separate hair to really get in there and dry your roots. And once your hair is about 75 to 80 percent dry, begin using your paddle brush to pull your hair straight as you dry it. Next, turn your curling iron on to heat setting number 11 and be, let that warm up as, long, as well as your ceramic straightener while you section off bits of your hair. Divide the bottom section in half and start by taking one inch sections of hair, brush once through, and then begin to straighten from root to tip. If you see steam, it's okay, your hair is not burning, it's only the product. Try not to run your straightener through your hair more than twice as it can cause damage from the high heat, even with a heat protectant or Biolage smoothing shine milk as I'm using. Continue sectioning off one inch sections of your hair, brush once, and run your straightener through again from root to tip. Your curling iron should be heating at this point. I'm using Conair's Instant Heat with Turbo Boost, size one and a half inch barrel that has adjustable heat. Mine is set to number 11. I'm using FHI's Heat Technique Ceramic Flat Iron in the color of pink. I purchased FHI's Heat Technique Ceramic Flat Iron from Trade Secrets for approximately $120. The Conair Instant Heat with Turbo Boost Adjustable Heat Setting 1.5 inch barreled curling iron was purchased from Walmart for about $15. There you could see the difference in my hair. Continue straightening your hair. Now I'm taking the curling iron and just rotating through my hair, holding for a bit at the ends just to smooth my ends out. Khloe Kardashian's hair doesn't necessarily have a curl, but in the picture I showed you, it's not stick straight either. The ends are nice and smooth. That curl that you see there, slight curl, will fall as you continue on styling your hair. And you'll see here I'm angling the curling iron upwards towards my face as I have layering in the front. I'm going to t continue with the right side of my head and section off bits just to smooth those ends out, rotating my hand and pulling through, pausing just for a moment at the end. Continue rotating the curling iron through your hair, and remember, if your hair is layered at the front as mine is and tapered, angle that curling iron up, upward towards your face just a little to make sure you're getting all your layers. Mm -hmm. 
Now that that is completed, I'm going to speed this up a bit and continue straightening and curling sections of my hair, one inch sections of my hair, until we get to the top. I apologize if the video is jumping a bit. Sometimes my movements were too fast for the camera to handle. Continue with the opposite side of your hair, leaving about a two and a half to three inch wide section parted at the top. That is what you see twisted and combed up. This step is important later on, so make sure that you do leave the top section twisted and pinned up together. Right now we're just focusing on the length, back, and sides of your hair. Again, be sure to taper the curling iron and angle it upwards towards your face if your layers are angled like mine are. Here we begin with the top section and you'll see why that was important to leave that whole section undone. You'll see I'm pulling the straight straightener upwards from root to tip. This creates body as the hair cools. Just holding for a minute and then pl placing down and continuing with the next half inch to one inch section of hair. Brush once through, straighten upwards from root to tip. and then rotate the curling iron backwards just to smooth out those edges. Continue towards the front of your face. Now you'll see I'm rotating my straightener towards my face the closer I get to my bangs. And then the very front section here of my bangs, from root to tip, pull and slowly rotate the straightener to give a slight curl effect. Then take your curling iron and instead of curling away from your face, curl under. Hold just for a moment and release. Chloe's hair in the picture shown has a drastic center part. Make sure it's even and straight. And if you have any cowlicks towards the front of your face as I do, just run your straightener through it a few more times to make sure it's all smoothed and flat. Now take the brush and about halfway towards the back of your head, pull that section straight back, run your fingers through it to give it a little bit more of a hand tousled style. Finish with a spray if you like, if not, your Khloe Kardashian inspired hair tutorial is completed. There's the side of the back. I hope you enjoyed it.